Hello guys, uh, welcome back, and uh, this video is because of the response to my last video, so I set out a goal on my last video for uh, 15 likes, we've crushed it, within a day we were at 20, 28 or something, it's crazy, so I now wanted to show you guys another tutorial video, uh, this one is to show you guys the best and most efficient reactor design for big reactors. So this is a max size big reactor uh, with just two rows of yellow orium fuel rods and control rods. So it's 950,000 RFs uh, at 100 millibuckets per tick. This is in FTB Infinity Evolved. Therefore, this number is eight times the normal value set for big reactors. So if you're not playing Infinity Evolved, then this will be eight times less. Okay, just so you know. Um, so the, the calculation on this is... Per ingot, you would do 950,000, well, it's not exactly, not, it's not that, it's uh, 1,000 divided by 100.4, and then you take that number and you divide 950 by it, which is like 10, so 950,000 divided by 10, 9.5 mil. So you get 9.5, oops, I forgot I'm in uh, creative, uh, you get 9.5 million per ingot of yellowium in this system, okay? So that's the, the, Biggest reactor possible. I'll even show you the top. This is with liquid cryothium. Um, and then I'll, I'll explain all the like mechanics of big reactors if you guys are here for that instead of just how to make the most efficient one. But we're going to start with the most efficient and how to do it. So this is all filled with cryothium. The amount of cryothium this thing takes is insane. So it's two rows of yellowium fuel rods. The size of this reactor is 32 by 32 by 48. 48 tall. And uh, yeah, pretty simple. Then we have this design. Okay, this is two rows, basically the same thing as that, but instead it's only one tall, like one tall in the center. It's three tall overall, so it's a three by three, uh, 32 by 32 by three, and then this is a 32 by 32 by three with only one row. So this is to show you which one's more efficient. By the way, one of these is the most efficient reactor possible, that's very simple to do as well, which is the really weird part. Also, it uses less cryothium, because you can have flowing cryothium. So you would place a cryothium, let's say, right here, and it'll flow to the corner and flow. So you could, you could fill up this reactor with, like, 30 buckets of cryothium, instead of, obviously, that thing taking millions of cryothium. Anyways, this is the first one. So it's 17, uh, my out of, what? Let me use uh, ingots instead of blocks. It's causing a problem. Let me let me do that. Yellowium. All right, so we'll use ingots instead of blocks. Okay, so this is eighteen point six thousand. Eighteen point seven is what it's supposed to be. Okay, eighteen thousand seven hundred. Um, and 1.24. So you can see here, if you divide 1,000 by 1.236, then divide 18,000 by that, or times it by that, you would get, um, you would get 15.129 mil. So per a single ingot of yellowium, you're getting 15.129 mil. If you compare that to the giant one, uh, it's more efficient. So a reactor begins to get less efficient the taller it is. That is a fact. It is, this also has two rows instead of one. So now I'll show you the best design that I've ever found. Same thing, one row. It can use like barely any cryothium, probably like 30. Two rows of yellowium fuel rods, so it's 60 yellowium fuel rods and 60 control rods. It's 30, let me uh, put in ingots instead of blocks. Okay, so this is um, 38.54, somewhere around there. Uh, power, 38 thousand power per tick and 2.3 millibuckets. So if you divide the thousand by 2.3 and then times that by 38.2, you get 16.6 million. So this is actually more efficient of a design than uh, than this one over here with two rows of yellowium fuel rods instead of one. It's also exactly in the center of the, of the reactor and that's the most efficient design. So now to... Uh, so this is a pretty simple. So it's a 32 by 32 times 3 with um, 60 yellowium fuel rods, 60 control rods, and then obviously you don't need glass or any of this other stuff. And that's that's the most efficient reactor design. So you would want to just replicate this uh, tall, like more and more. You wouldn't want to make it tall. Since I showed you, you take this and you make it the full size, and it loses 7 million power per ingot, which is insane. 
it's almost half the efficiency and no one would even expect that to be a thing like why would it not scale right so pretty weird but you just expand this to make it bigger uh, simple reactor design is very simple you would the smallest design possible is a three by three you want to fill up the uh, outer sides corners and edges with uh, with the reactor casings then the inside components are where you put everything else so the bottom since I'm not gonna be able to see it put it like that you have to have a controller you must have a reactor access port you must have a power tap and you can have another reactor access port so this one you could change it to outlet mode this will take out uh, uh, the Cyanite. Cyanite is the extra stuff you get from, uh, or like the f the waste, which you can actually turn back into Yellowium at the after with a Cyanite reprocessor. Um, then in here, you want the middle of it to be the fuel rod. You have to have the fuel rod going from the middle, like the bottom to the top. So then you cap it off with a control rod, which you can change the uh, how much like of the of the uh, fuel rod you're going to be using. So then you would insert the power. The fuel, in this case we use Yellorium as the fuel, four ingots, fills this up, power, and you're good to go. So this will do a good 260 RFs a tick. You can, so what this does up here is a control rod. You can insert the control rod. Uh, you can change all of the rods at once by holding control. So if I change it to 50%, this will cancel out half of the fuel that's in there and we're only using two ingots now. Uh, yeah, two of the, like, four of the capacity. Okay, and so now you see the power is about half. It's a little bit more than half just because that's how it works. And uh, it's pretty simple. So that's pretty much everything. The access port is where you put it in. The outlet mode is how you take it out. You, you can also see you can eject the waste or eject the fuel. You can take the fuel back out, put it back in, whatever. Uh, you would have to change it to inlet mode to put the fuel in. Did I just dupe? Wait, what? Oh no, it's because I'm pulling out from... Okay, yeah. Whatever, it's good. So yeah. <laughs> um, and then the last thing is the power tap is obviously where you take the power out from. Pretty simple. It's a very easy setup. So this is the most efficient reactor possible. That's very easy to do. There might be a better setup, maybe, but this is like the most... It's the easiest to do, and it uses barely any cryothium. And I hope you guys have really enjoyed this. I'm enjoying doing these kind of series. I don't know why or how I came up with the first idea to do it, but I feel like there's a lack of most efficient reactors designs from big reactors as well. And if you guys have anything else you think I should do videos on, leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, subscribe if you guys are in the channel. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. I really uh, want more ideas, and I have a few more, but uh, I might run out eventually. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.